Boyan was once one of world football's hottest young prospects. Messi's younger cousin was expected to follow in his footsteps and absolutely dominate with him at Barcelona for the past generation. But we moved to present day. Boyan is 30 years old and playing in the J League, 67 rated on FIFA. So today we're going to rewind his career and see if we can get him the Ballon d'Or and the success that he deserves. Stoke fans, they love this guy, Boyan. Here he is now playing for Vissel Kobe or Vissel Kobe. We've got Andres Iniesta as well. He's brought him across former Barcelona teammates. But let's hit the reset button. Voila! Boyan is back to his FIFA 08 potential. It's actually crazy that at age 16, this dude was 76 overall and had 92 potential in FIFA 08 at age 16. If that happened today, every career mode YouTuber and their mum would be buying this guy in a rebuild. So of course the goal is to get him a Ballon d'Or, but I want to just make him an absolute beast in the J League until he's up to like the 90 overall mark and then just push for European football and push for a Ballon d'Or. Already starting off at at a four star, four star. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, it's gonna take 30 weeks to turn into a striker. Radio. Iniesta just feeding it to Boyan. The J League is not gonna know what hit it. That is a very good start to life. 47 games played. It's deceiving because we went up nine overall and we changed the all the initial stuff. We've only gone up one overall this season, which is quite disappointing, but 18 goals is a very strong start. Also, I don't think Iniesta's retiring at the end of the season, which could be a good for another year. And we have become champions of Japan, which is very important. I just want to win as much silverware as possible in today's video. Also, it's worked out pretty well that we are now able to convert ourselves to a striker. I wonder if this is going to make us go up. Three, two, one. It took us up two more overall. You bloody ripper. You love to see it. Damn, we're 17 years old, 79 overall. We could set a record in this series of how quickly we can win a Ballon d'Or. Got to get those skills and weak foot up though. It's not going to take too long, hopefully. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. 30 goals and six assists in our second season. We're 18 years of age and we are 83 overall. Winning one Ballon d'Or is a blessing. We might be in contention to win a Ballon d'Or by the time we're 24. If we have won a... Okay, I'm going to put this out there now. If we win a Ballon d'Or before the age of 25, I'm going to see how many Ballon d'Ors I can win in this career. We could make Boyan the greatest player in football history. How have we finished second in the league though? That is, that is insulting. We need our revenge next year. Although we won an Asian Champions League. Let's go. Was there any Australian teams in there? Nah, that's disappointing. We had, no, nah, we had Al Halal in our group. We beat Al Halal. Get that one up here. Go the Wanderers. Go the Western Sydney Wanderers. But that is massive. We've already been a continental champion. Bro, Iniesta is still not retiring. I love that. And our potential has gone up one overall. We currently have a 93 potential. Oh my. Let's see what this season has in store. It's a disappointing season compared to last. Although I've noticed we've gotten 12 assists this year. So we're getting a little bit more distribution there. But still, I wanted 30 goals after 30 goals. And most importantly, I wanted to hit the 85 mark this year. But at least we got ourselves another Japanese league title. Couldn't go back to back in the ACL though. Iniesta's down to a 59. This is getting grim. Again, though, we don't expect to win the Ballon d'Or this year, but Haaland has done it. He's 10 overall higher than us. I feel like we're going to be in constant clashing with Haaland, Mbappe, and ourselves. This could be like the tree. This is like the Messi versus Ronaldo debate for the next, like, degeneration. You know what, though, lads? We've had our fun in Japan. Let's go announce ourselves to Europe. Also, our value is 79 million. It's going to be very interesting to see what clubs come in for us. The first transfer offer is in. It is... Our values... We've gone up to an eight... What? That has changed within like a week. We've gone up 70 million or 30 million pounds in our value. Arsenal offer 127 mil, but I want to go to somewhere where I'm just going to absolutely dominate. It's deadline day. We need another offer. Otherwise, we're going to be spending at least the first half of the season here. Damn it, not Kikikuchi. Of course, I get an offer. To be fair, Salzburg, where are you getting 110 million pounds from? But um, I want that. Like, I would love to go to Salzburg. We would absolutely tear up the Austrian league. The only problem though is there's two hours remaining in the window. Damn, it's not going to happen, is it, lads? It's not going to happen. We're going to spend the first half of the J-League season at the club. Is it going to say, yeah? I mean, the good thing is that we are, like, on a different time frame. So if we go in July, that's going to be halfway through our season. But that's going to be the start 
of the European window. I was hoping we could get a move sorted July 1st. Let's see if a transfer offer can come in. Come on, Salzburg, do it for me, somebody. We got a transfer offer and it's from PSG. This is exactly what we wanted. Let's go and team up with Mbappe and just dominate the French league. Also a little look at the season considering we might be able, we might be leaving. We're currently on 14 goals after 24 games in the J league. Let's see if this is the last time. We're in a Vissel Kobe jersey though. Pack your bags, get your toupee, grab a baguette. We're off to the French capital. We're off to Paris Saint. Five months? Why would you sign me on a five month contract, you fools? There we go, lads. Miss Impossible, Miss Miracle is off to the French capital as well. God damn, we've got to get in and, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, Messi. I might have to change up the formation and bench you. I've just realized, lads, we're reunited with our cousin. We're reunited with Messi. Let's go. But this is the formation I've got going on. This is the team we've got to play with. Let's go see how our first year at PSG pans out. I feel like in order for us to be a clear Ballon d'Or winner, we might have to stop sharing the spotlight at PSG with Mbappe. He gets 20 nine goals, seven assists. We get 20 goals and nine assists. It's still a re respectable season, but I want to be getting 30 plus goals every year. Imagine if we don't have Mbappe to compete with. I could like realistically, I guess, be getting 49 goals a season. Add another trophy to the trophy cabinet though, although I don't feel like we shouldn't be worrying about League Un every season. The thing I want is a Champions League title with PSG. Our potential is 96 overall, lads. And you know what? <laughs> this might divide opinions. Mbappe He's added to the transfer list. This is Boyan's town. This is Boyan's team. So I've had a brilliant idea. We know that it's almost impossible for attacking midfielders and non-forwards to win a Ballon d'Or. And Barbe's some of our biggest competition. Why not keep him in the team? Keep him as an asset to us and feed us possession and having him as an attacking midfielder. Genius, genius, I know. Also, we signed Kai Havertz. This team is about to look absolutely insane. We've had a very good season, but again, Killian and Barbe has stolen the limelight. Hopefully him still getting 35 goals and 30 assists won't affect us. I mean, we might be in Ballon d'Or contention. I'm not going to say I'm feeling confident about it, but I mean, I did say if we could do it before 25, I'd be happy. We're 21 right now. We're 89 overall. This is freaky good. Still no Champions League title though. Also, we are saying goodbye to the goat himself. Goodbye, cousin. I'll see you at Christmas dinner. Oh my God, lads. I missed the cutscene, but look above my head. Player of the year, Harlan Vlahovic Boy. Boyan or Vinicius Jr. We are nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Oh my God, we could do it at age 22. Player of the year announced, player of the year announced. It's, no, it's Vlavich. I thought that was us for a second. Oh no, I tripped out and I thought we'd won the Ballon d'Or, but it's Vlavich. No, at least we know that we are in contention now. Oh my God, we have had a better season than Mbappe. This is the best season of our career. Surely, if we were nominated for the Ballon d'Or last, Last year, surely we've got to be one of the favorites heading into next season. We're 91 rated as well. Boyan's career has well and truly been saved. Now it's about how good we can make him. One of the greatest footballers of all time. We are part of an invincible team. We were one of the key parts of the invincible team. The question though, did we win ourselves a Champions League? We won a Champions League! Come on! Who will be 2027's player of the year? We are nominated again. It's between it Hudson and Adoy, one of our teammates is nominated. No Haaland, no Vlahovic, Martinez, Vinicius, Boyan, and Callum hudson Adoy. Oh my God, please. Player of the year announced, player of the year announced. It is us! We're the player of the year! Let's go! Boyan at age 23. Oh, look at our, look at our stats. 99, 19, oh my God. We are the Ballon d'Or winner with Boyan at age 23. If we manage to hit six Ballon d'Ors in a row, I'm gonna buy one of you that is subscribed to the channel a jersey for one of the clubs that Boyan has played for in real life. So make sure you bloody Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. This video officially ends when we don't win another Ballon d'Or. We're gonna see how many Ballon d'Ors we can win in a row. Bro, we're gonna win it again. We're gonna win it again. 40 goals, are you kidding me? If we don't win it this year, I am gonna, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna go crazy. I will be at Ballon d'Or's offices, at FIFA's offices, wherever they are in Switzerland, demanding, I'll be protesting. The Jared HD 
in, Bayern Army will be out in force. 40 goals! And we've gone back to back in the Champions League. This has to be another Ballon d'Or winning season. Who will be 2028's Player of the Year? We are nominated again. Just above us there, we are nominated again. Hudson, Adoy, Vinicius, Ossiman or Oshiman and us. Come on, let's go back to back. Player of the Year announced, please, please, please. Back to back, baby, that's two in a row. Boyan owns this mother Let's go, two in a row. We're not, bro, what? We have 237 million pound valuation, 94 overall. Back to back, oh my God. The possibility of getting three in a row, surely it's on. We've had a slightly worse season than last, but we managed to get a Ballon d'Or the first time around with 30 goals. Also, look at that. Kylian Mbappe's 99 rated. I am so, so happy that we got him in as an attacking midfielder because he'd be winning the Ballon d'Or every year if he was still striker. We don't get a third Champions League title in a row. Maybe that's a bad omen. I don't mean to alarm you, ladies and gentlemen, but our potential, is currently 99. What's going to happen first? Us not winning a Ballon d'Or or us hitting 99 overall? Stick around and find out. Who will be 2029's Player of the Year? We are nominated again. Zaniolo joining. Is that Callum Hudson? Yeah, Callum Hudson and Doi's been in it with us essentially every year. Three in a row. Three in a row. Three in a row. Three in a row. Come on. Three in a row. Let's go, Boya. 96 overall. I don't like this man. I mean, it's only one goal less than we got last year, but I don't like the trend that we're heading backwards. I don't want that. Although, how does Callum hudson Doy keep getting nominated when he's got 13 goals and three assists? If he gets nominated again next year, I'm going to be asking some serious questions. You know what? I want to see if we can do it at a different club other than PSG. Let's add ourselves to the transfer list. Although, we're a quarter of a billion pounds in valuation. I don't know if any other clubs are going to be able to afford us. Manchester United want us 344. Four million pounds. I'm accepting that one. We've won a Ballon d'Or in PSG. We've done it on a cold rainy night in Stoke, but now we head to Old Trafford. Bolyan is a red devil. Who will be 2030's player of the year? No! No! We're full. How does Hudson Adoy get nominated, but we don't? Hudson Adoy got 13 goals and three assists or some bullshit like that. We go, what, 29 and 14 or something and don't get nominated. Three Ballon d'Ors is all we can win, but we have well and truly made Boyan a bona fide superstar.